Okay, our next site is RYT Hospital from Duane Medical Center. Uh, when you first open the page, everything's looking good. Lots of graphics, cute babies. Um, seems like there's a lot of information. You've got a customized portal. Um, again, the first thing we want to do is look at the About Us as well as the Contact Us. Um, let's start with the About Us. Um, we have some information here about the medical center. They're basically telling us that they're really great. Um, unfortunately, that's about as far as it goes. Uh, you really should compare this to what you saw in the About Us in Medline. Lots of links to um, other people that will help you verify the um, validity of the site. And um, there were, of course, there was the whole list of advisors real people that you could get to, that you could contact for more information. You don't see a lot of that here. I mean, the only name we actually have here is a Broadway dancer. Um, it would be interesting to look up her, Cynthia Smith, and see what she's all about. Um, if you go to the Contact Us part, you have uh, an email, a prompt to email through a form, um, but no email address that you could use to get in touch with them. You have to go through their form. There's no phone number here. There's no address. Again, there's nobody seemingly in charge of anything here. So these are all things that uh, should make you question the site. Of course, I'm, I'm buzzing through this quickly because I'm familiar with the site, but if you first came upon it, um, it would be quite easy to spend some time here thinking that everything looked really good. Um, you know, again, you've got the handsome doctor, all these graphics, very professional looking. Um, you go to medical education. Again, every time you look here, it doesn't actually tell you that much. It was founded in 1901, so certainly it's not just a web-based hospital um, or resource. But again, there isn't really a lot of information here. Uh, about that. Again, they've got all this thing. You can't actually link to their academic principles, their requirements, how to apply. These are all things that should be setting off your little red bells. Um, okay, so in this situation, a really good way to attack this issue is to um, go ahead and to Google the site or Google the person responsible for the site and um, see what comes up um, in relation to them. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and do a search on RYT Hospital. Did I spelled that correctly. Oh, and there it comes up. We'll click on that. Okay, so we have the first site. Any of these that say www.ryt hospital are their site, so really not where we want to be. What's very interesting is what comes up next bogus or fake website, okay, RY, RYT Hospital, already, you know, if it's coming up on a list of bogus or fake websites, of course, you want to evaluate this site as well, but it's starting to tell you something. Um, you can also see here we have um, something from USA Today. Maybe you recognize that, so that would be uh, another good place to go look. Here's another one, Virus Hoax Urban Legend. When you start seeing a lot of this stuff, it should start cluing you into the fact that this is made up. And then actually, when we come down here to Virgil Wong, we find the artist, artist who came up with this site. And you can read a little bit about Mr. Wong and what he's up to um, on the site. But if you were just to go through the RYT hospital, it is quite hard to figure out that it is just an art project. Um, something that maybe you would be researching would be uh, Male Pregnancy, which is a site that is part of RYT Hospital. It's up here. Um, and again, if you were interested in, in male pregnancy, you might end up here. And there seems to be a lot of good stuff. Again, we have a U.S. News and World Report uh, article here. If this were to work well, you would click on this, and it would take you into U.S. News and World Report. Instead, it just takes you into a bigger version of the picture. That's not helpful at all. You want to be able to link out to outside sources. This would lend to support, which is part of your, your criteria list. Um, also for me, I think that this site is such a great example of reasonableness. Um, 
don't fall for things just being beautiful, okay? Just because it's such a well done site, just because the graphics are so great, because they've got their little timer clock, because they've got all this other stuff, you've got Oprah on here, um, doesn't mean that the information here is true or even good. It happens to be a talented artist and graphics designer and web page designer who's at work making this stuff up. Um, so the flip side of that is the Medline site was not that exciting. Lots of links, just basic information, but that's actually a very well-known site and a very good site. Um, so don't fall for prettiness as a, something being pretty as a, a gauge to whether or not it's any good. Um, the other thing is, is that your internal bell that says that, wait a second, men can't get pregnant should be going off. Don't get caught up in this site that's showing you this and immediately assume it's true. Um, the way I always like to look at it is think about how much you already know about Britney Spears and everything that happens in her life or Brad Pitt and Angelina Jolie and all these things about famous people's lives that you don't need to know, you don't particularly care about, but there you are standing at the grocery store and boom, you know, you know all about the fact that they've had twins in France and all this kind of stuff. This would be all over the place. This would not be the only place you found out that they actually got a man pregnant. Now, of course, there is the issue with the um, People Magazine cover that came out recently with the man getting pregnant. But if you read closely, that that, although is a person who has chosen to live as a man, is not somebody who biologically is a man. Okay, so I, I, I know that lately when I've been lecturing about this, people do get caught in, the, in that People Magazine article. Um, I can show it to you sometime if you're interested, but really it would be all over Time Magazine. There would be a real U.S. News and World Report. It would be everywhere that they had actually successfully impregnated a man, and women would probably be celebrating <laughs> all over <laughs> the place. Um, so those are just some things to consider.